you can go to heaven or hell in this. Oh, you get to choose? Yeah, but the only way to really beat the game is to go to heaven. Is to choose Jesus. Yeah. Now there are tons of final bosses. There's your mom, then there's the one for this one, then there's one for heaven, there's another one. Like potential final bosses or? Uh... Yeah, well they're all, it, go, it kind of goes in stages. Like you have to beat the bosses a certain amount of time. Like you, first they're the final boss. And then once you beat them enough, then the next area opens up. Like you had, I had to beat, you had to beat mom ten times to get to the, the uterus. Well, I, you know what? Uh, if if uh, I, I don't think I want to beat my mom if the only place that leads me is her uterus. Yeah, you beat your mom and then you climb into her uterus. Is that where babies come from? Mm -hmm. You just beat the shit out of your mother and then climb up in her and then you get born again? And that's Circle how you become life. a Christian. That's yeah. the only way to Christ. Is in your dead mother's womb? Well, no, no, you're, you're severely uh, incapacitated. Or actually, this is this is the womb, not the uterus. I yeah. guess, or are those the same thing? I don't know. I don't uh, know anatomy. I, yeah, you know what? Uh, I put up a picture of that. Oh, I shudder to think of what you're putting up a picture of there. Oh. Look at these guys. I'm just wrecking them. Man. Yeah. They don't know. They didn't know what they were walking into. <laughs> I just love all these things that follow you around, like float it. Yeah. You know. Um, apparently they, they amp it up in the, or they're going to amp it up in the, the, uh, bind, the new Binding of Isaac. Because huh. there was a screenshot from it where there was just like an army of, of familiars floating around him. So is the new Binding of Isaac less cute looking or less... Not, uh, it's kind of different. I think it's still, you know... Because the the thing that that it said that was that the commercial was live action. Yeah, I think so. That's not reflective of what the game oh, is. Oh, okay. Though. Okay, I didn't want them live action cutscenes and then like super high def your mother's womb. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I kind of forget exactly what it looked like. It's been a while since I've looked at screenshots from it. Yeah, this, this this is what uh, this is what it was like when you were a baby, or I mean before you were a baby, before you were born. This is what I, what you were dealing with. You were in a box. You had a little meat head around you. You had a cat head. You were living it up, man. Yeah, and you had to Hotel kill California. all the various monsters that inhabited your mother's womb. Yeah, and then you went to heaven. And that's that's actually you know uh, like oh, hey oh. Huh? Huh? Uh, oh, you, you were oh, saying yeah, something. Yeah, I forgot what I was So that's actually, uh... Yeah. I got distracted oh. by chewed up monster cake thing. Chewed up monster cake? What's what's chewed up monster cake? That's what that big guy thing Oh, was. no, he's like organs and oh, stuff. Oh, he's organs. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's different. Organzola. It's like cheese, but, but human organs. That's gross. That's Bulls gross, of me. Steel. Balls of steel. Yeah. I'm here to kick gum and chew bubble ass, and I'm all out of ass. It's my Duke Nukem. I don't think it's it's not too bad of a Duke Nukem. I don't know if I'm quite quite deep enough as as John Saint John. I'm here to. I'm here to. Uh, you know, uh, kick to say. ass. I'm here to. I'm, I'm here to. You know, kick ass and take names and then refer to myself by really, really long names. Yeah. I'm. I'm Lloyd Leroy Thomas Jenkins. Wow. Um, Gary. Gary. Yeah, Gary Thomas. Indiana. Gary Thomas. Is that a person? Saint. Saint Thomas. Cloud. St. Cloud. Yeah. St. Paul. St. Peter, Paul, and Mary. That was actually what happened with Peter, Paul, and Mary. Is, what you know, happened to is somebody? Is that band kicked the ass of a band named Paul and a, and a, and a band named Mary? And, oh. You know, took the name. 
there was a man named Paul and Mary, or was it just one named Paul and one named Mary? One named Paul and one named Mary. Huh. Yeah. Ah. 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 These guys are back. Except now both of the little dudes are green. Well, what's the difference between the green and the gray? The green ones are stronger. Oh, okay. So they have, like, more health, I think. Green means strong like Hulk? Well, it's just... Sometimes the enemies are different color. And if they're different color, they're, they're stronger. I think that happens more often after you beat the game. I know the curses happen more often. Like the curse of the labyrinth, and there's this curse of darkness, and the curse of the lost, and that's the curses. The three curses. It's cocksucker, motherfucker, and and cunt. Yeah, but they're, they're you know, but the, you know, those are the curses that there's no appropriate time to to say them. You know, yeah. it's like. Uh, I was, I was, I was going to go into the, uh, George Carlin. Were you going to go into a George uh, Carlin? Yeah. I was going to well, go into it. was it. like a fantastic voyage kind of thing? Oh, uh, yeah, no, well, you know, yeah. I mean, that's kind of what we're doing now. Yeah. I don't well, think we're in a George Carlin. I don't though. know if fantastic voyage went quite like this, though. I think it did. I think they were in a submarine. A submarine. No, they were in a box. <laughs> they were just walking around in a little car. box. God, how unsafe is that? What, just being in a little box? Fantastic Voyage, but instead of a submarine, you have a, a cardboard box. <laughs> Whoa, boy. That was exciting. Was that not exciting? That was, uh, yeah. Are you not entertained? I I am entertained. Oh, he's flat. Look at him. Uh, he's not as developed as the other girls. Huh. And he still wants to get his mom to take him bra shopping, but it's like, no, honey, you just you're not filling out like the other girls. It's okay. Like the other gross, disgusting, wads blob of, monster yeah. organ girls. Yeah. Don't worry, you'll you'll get there. And if you're anything like me, you, you'll <laughs> get there way more than you want to be. <laughs> The two of hearts. Oh, I don't like those guys. That's a cute, creepy thing. What is it? I don't know. They just teleport and scream at you. Just like children. <laughs> Always teleporting around. It's, it makes it really tough to kill them. It's really annoying. <laughs> See, that's why I'll never have kids. Yeah. You know, uh, son, son, yeah, it's time to go to school now. You gotta get your... Ah! God damn it. And then he, he vomits blood on you and, and teleports away. Yeah, you, you, finally, you finally just have to, you know, lay down the law and ground him. And, you know, and then he's like, uh, you, you don't remember what it was like to be a kid. <laughs> and obviously I, I don't. So you gotta lay down the law and take out your Game Boy and eat him. <laughs> That'll learn ya. My elders used to eat me with their Game Boys and it, and it taught me respect. <laughs> it also replenished their health bar. It was win-win. They sometimes put the meat head upside, the, uh, upside my head. <laughs> the meat head upside my meat head. And if I, if, if I was really bad, they'd uh... They'd have their die hit me in the face, or their <laughs> eye hit me in the face. Their so, floating eye. Well, sometimes their eye didn't really hit me in the face. It just kind of bounced around the room, and I could avoid it pretty so I just easily. Kind of walked out of the way of it. Because I had them telephone pies. <laughs> ah, things were different back then. Everything cost a, a penny. <laughs> you were, you were in pretty good shape if you found a nickel, and your mother's uh, intestines. <laughs> When you crawled inside your dead mother. When you crawled inside your dead mother, you showed her respect, boy. <laughs> and you treated her just like every other level. 
Not not different. You're not gonna treat her shabbily because she's your mother. You're gonna treat her like a level. And big end of level bosses just become mini bosses here. That's but not good, man. Which is also a, a very Zelda-like thing. Oh, and every boss has a has a living and dead counterpart. Because we fought. Do you remember the the lady with the red poop and you yeah, hit her in the butt? That was the dead version of. Yeah, that's of that's how boss. I lost my job. And that's the dead version of a dude. Yeah, and they're all inside your mother for some reason. That's, that's the husk. It's the dead version of the the Duke of Flies. I believe your mother is a they're like they're all in your mother. I believe she might well, be a gigantic slut. My mother takes. No, I mean she's sorts. literally a gigantic slut. Yeah. You know she. Uh, she takes in everybody who who asks for. Uh, Oh, I can't think of what it's called now. You uh, could go, you go permission to, to come inside of her? Well, yeah, um, yeah the joke's dead. So you can you can ask the like the, the church for for uh, sanctuary. Sanctuary. Yeah, that's it. See that 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 killed the joke because I yeah. can't think of it. It's, I could just think of, of Quasimodo's mother asking for that in uh, in Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. Because, you know, that's more easy to remember than just a word. Just a, a, a moment in the, the early part of that movie. Yeah. The early part of that movie that I haven't seen since I was a child. I saw it recently. Oh, did you? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. It's pretty. It's damn pretty. Also, very, very adult themes in that movie. Oh yeah, well there, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, Christ imagery. Uh, there, there are references to hell. There's the Frollo who wants to fuck the, the gypsy. Who yeah. Wants to fuck Esmeralda. Yeah, no, there's, there's a very uh, creepy uh, sex subtext that becomes text. Yeah. It's, it's, it's actually just a creepy Christian dude going, I want to fuck you. Yeah. And he sings about hellfire. Yeah. Like fire, hellfire, hellfire. this burning in my skin. And it's the, the choose me or your pyre. Yeah, that dude is a bad guy. Yeah, he's like really. And it's like it's it's slightly glossed over, you know. The, yeah. The, 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 what he's doing is basically, no, you fuck me, or I'm gonna have all these crazy Christian people burn you to death. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's a little that's a little upsetting. It's it's a little odd for 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 a kids movie. Also, it's clear that that's really all he wants is the sex. He doesn't yeah. want the you know. He doesn't care. You know, that she's a gypsy, really. No, he do doesn't care that she's a person outside of being a, a, a sexy, yeah. traveling entertainer. Well, I guess he does care that she's a gypsy, and that that yeah. and that that's really forbidden and arousing. Yeah, and 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 and, and there's like a, there's like an element of ooh, how exotic. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's really he's really a gross, gross, gross man. Yeah, like kind of a step above all the other Disney villains. Yeah, no, like. Because all the other Disney villains, it's like, ooh, I just want to be in control. I want to be, you know, powerful. Yeah. And so I'm going to do some bad things to become powerful, which is like, yeah. But but this guy's like, no, I, I already am powerful, and now I'm going to be a rape man. <laughs> yeah. 